Today we have a physics question of the day. Um, and so what this is, is a, is a resistor problem. Um, and the question asks, what is the change in intensity of resistor one after we remove resistor three? And the uh, voltage of the battery is 100, the resistance of resistor one is 10, resistor two is 20, and resistor three is 30. Alright, so the way we want to solve this um, is the first thing we want to do is we want to look at what we know and find out what we need to know. Um, so the first thing that we have to know is all of that is given. So we're given that this is 100 volts, um, 10, 20, and 30. And so what do they want us to find? They want us to find the intensity, the change in intensity of resistor 1 after we remove resistor 3. So we're just trying to find the intensity here. And intensity, what they mean by that is power. Uh, so you want to find the change in power when in this resistor when we remove that. Alright, so let's try this. So we have this circuit again. And so the first thing we want to do is we want to find um, what the actual power is when we have all of these resistors in here. Um, so remember back to our rules, we have um, in parallel, the voltage in each of the resistors is going to be the same. So all these are going to feel a 100 volt potential difference. So there will be 100 volts in here, 100 volts in there, 100 volts in there. Um, and so if we do V equals IR, um, we find that I equals 100 over 10, and for that resistor right there, which equals 10. And if we remember from before, P equals I squared R, I squared is 10 squared times 10 equals 1,000, all right? And so now let's just do um, the second case, and that would be um, if we had the same resistor or the same circuit, but now we took out the very last, we took out the very last resistor. So this is 20, this is 10, and this is 100, and we took out the 30 ohm resistor. And so we'll do the same thing, so V equals IR, and you see that they're in parallel, so we'll have a 100 volt drop in here, a 100 volt drop in there. Of 100 equals 10 times I, I equals 10, all right? And from our equation again, P equals I squared R, all right? So I squared R would be 10 squared times 10. And so if we see, we see that the power is actually the exact same, and power is in watts. And so if Power from before, we saw power initial equals a thousand watts. And then power final is also a thousand watts. So our power difference is going to be zero watts. That's something that they like to test a lot is that in, in parallel, we don't have any difference um, in power once we change anything, once we remove a resistor, because that's how parallel resistors work. If you have a light bulb, um, and you remove a light bulb or your circuit breaks in your, in your house, they're all in parallel resistance, um, and so you won't see any difference in intensity. So if we look back at our question, we had, um, so what is the change? Well, we know it's zero watts, and so before we even did that, we should also have eliminated this right here. That would give us um, you know, 75% chance of getting it right. Um, you know, if we eliminate this one, we know that the power or the intensity is in watts. So we know that it can't be um, in ohms, which is a measure of resistance. Hey guys, remember to post any questions, comments, or requests down below. Thanks for watching.